Hello family, I'm here today with Alex of Light Tea Village and he's going to tell us a little bit about his shop and also about his name brand, Bajo. So we'll be right back in just a minute. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank and you. what is your name? My name is Alex Nyantaba. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your shop here. Yeah, the shop, as you can see, has a different uh, material. We have necklace, a uh, uh, the other decoration for putting on the wall, which is which normally represents our, our carriage heritage. Okay. And also we have a uh, different hand ba backpack, uh, shopping bags, uh, sweater, bags, belts, I don't know. Okay, and tell me, what does, how do you pronounce it, Bajo means on your shirt? Bajo means, uh, it's, it's bad from word of hope, which means live. So in fact, Bajo, it's a Kinyarwandan word, which means live. Okay. In fact, it gives hope. All right. Yes. So, and that is like your name brand? Yeah, it's my name brand. Okay, so people, if you're interested in like a, a African name brand, because I know a lot of people like to buy stuff like, uh, I don't know, Nike, Puma, and things like that. Well, now you can buy something from Alex with Bajo, which is a Kenyan Rwanda word, which means life. So all these products here are made by you or uh, your staff? It's made by our staff. Oh, okay. Yeah. And can you show us a little bit more of some of the products here? Sure, sure. So we have one of the... The sweater here, it's very nice. It's jumper with okay. uh, with African uh, print. Normally, uh, the inspiration behind uh, starting business like this is just to claim our identity. We need African to dress like Africans. We do not have to dress like American or Europeans. Mm. So, uh, therefore, that's where that's when we started thinking: which way can we implement our ideas? through opening or establishing a brand like this Baho with uh, with 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 Gilaf because most most of the time you cannot find Gilaf in Europe or in in America. Yes. I think Gilaf is one of the wild animal you can find in Africa. It's just Africa. known to be in Africa, yes. correct. Yes. So uh, I was like we 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 were different like Puma, Polo. I was like no, I need to start my own brand, yes. which gives hope to the community, yes. which gives hope whoever wants to dress it. So we need to dress like a meaningful cloth. Yes. So uh, we, have a, we have here the, the dishes, the Arabia. Also, let me ask you a question real quick. Would you be interested in investors to help you get your uh, company off the ground? Sure. Normally, that is the reason why I, you know, I always look around to see uh, some Pan-Africanists like, like Tayo. Or, or else, or somebody else to come and play with house designs. And then yes. you see how can you know boost uh, youth. Yes. In different domains. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you have a young man here by the name of Alex, and he's looking for investors to help him get his company off the ground. Would you like to leave your phone number, email address? Sure. Uh, I would like to leave both. My phone number is zero seven eight three six seven six three five four. My website is www.bahoholdings.com. All right. So if you would like to get a young gentleman off the ground to start his own brand, like uh, Puma, like say Puma or Nike or, you know, something like that, but it's only African made, then this is the young man you need to contact because he's, as you can see, he's hardworking and he's trying to, to get this business off the ground. And he's, he's really talented, him and his staff. I'm sorry, sir. What's your name? Okay, yeah. so the, these gentlemen are here working and they would like some support to start this uh, company and make it international and you can be a part of this. So if you're interested, once again, contact this young gentleman. Say it again. Alex Nyon Saba. And your phone number? Plus 250
All right, thank you. Now you, you can show me some of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we have different, uh, these are for the kids, as you can see. Yes. The, there's a different uh, handmade material, because uh -huh. normally these are, all these are made from Rwanda. Yes. Are made from low communities. This is all made in Rwanda? Yes. From we, local communities? Yes, and we need to empower the, these low communities yes. by making a lot of uh, this material so that they can even get some some money to sustain their, their, their friends. Yes. So not only are you helping Alex, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but you're also helping the uh, Rwandan community. So these are, these are this, this is one of our traditional uh, material. Okay. Which, which works like guitar. I think uh -huh. guitar is from. The yeah, it's a guitar. Side. Yes. So this one, we call it umuduri. Pronounce it again. Umuduri. Inanga. Okay. Oh, okay. So I don't know how to play. Okay. But most people, most of our, most of our grandpa used to know how to to play with it. Yes, this is yes. one of your traditional yeah. instruments. Sure. Yes. And that is a lot of here, a lot of material. Okay. This represents our our culture, the way uh -huh. we dance. Yes. What is the Chinese. name of the dance there? In, in tour? Are in tour, you in tour. Okay. In tour? Yes, yes. Okay. So yeah. it normally it shows how Africans express their happiness. Yes. By welcoming people. Because uh -huh. normally we are we are we are hospitable by nature. Yes. So we need most of most Africans you, you find them smiling, happy. Yes. Yes. Whenever you know happiness is something which is very expensive. Mm -hmm. You can have money, but you don't have happiness. Exactly. So for us, and you can see a lot of that in the states. <laughs> <laughs> so for us, a lot of people have money, but they sad, yes. disappointed. For us in know, Africa, so. we really appreciate this is a gift from God. Yes. We do not have this fancy, fancy stuff, but we still have, we have happiness. Yes. Back in the village, we, you know, you are naked, but still you are happy, right? Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So exactly. all these materials represent our identity when you go down deep in the history. Yes. yes. And I'm going to show the audience one of the things that I like is, wait a minute, let me change hands here, sure. are these eggs. And now these are actually rocks, ladies and gentlemen, but they uh, carved it in the shape of an egg and painted them. And could you tell us again what the different colors mean on these eggs? So it has different colors. And... Uh, those who, who are lucky to know much more about Rwandan or African uh, colors and its meaning, it has a strong meaning behind. And okay. later on, I'll share all those information with Tayo by okay. email so that he can go through all the, the colors, the meaning, yes. and uh, the, the symbol, these, these illustrations. It has a tangible and strong meaning behind. Okay. Yeah. So, all these ones. What's that, an uh, ashtray? Yes, it's ashtray. You can, okay. you can use it as an ashtray, or you use it as a, as a decoration on your, on your table, on your, on your living room. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So this, this one are uh, uh, table mats. You can just put on a bottle or glass. Okay. Yeah. You can put here a candle. Mm -hmm. And I know the ladies are like these, these big yes. purses, bags. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. For the ladies. Yeah. Well, this one was nice too. Yes. Oh, this is a handmade chair. chair? Yes. I'm sorry, what'd you say, sir? Yeah, what were you saying about the chair? Oh, you're just showing how to sit on it. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to sit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so that's it, like a traditional chair that he has here, made completely out of wood. All right. And what are these? Oh, that's like a shower curtain back here? Uh, that is a dressing room. Oh, okay. Yes, like yeah. We have different uh, clothes there. Okay. So when we, like, like when we have somebody who might be interested to uh -huh. buy one of those, uh -huh. so they go there and then change the, their clothes. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe later on, if you need, you can change it and then you look like... Uh, our, our traditional dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. The traditional carpet. Oh, okay. He was showing me the carpet. Thank you. Yeah. This is like a traditional carpet yeah. with yeah. the many colors. Yeah. Yes, it's made with uh, you go in. Okay. It's made yeah. with uh, with some left material uh -huh. while making uh, different 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 design yes you know instead of throwing out uh -huh. and then later on we we struggle with uh, with the challenge yes we need to 
to gather them and then we do recycled fashion oh, okay. by doing tapping. Yeah. Oh, and I like this, uh, like I said, this curtain up here. That's really nice. I might have to get one of these myself. <laughs> yeah, because it's really yeah. nice. Thank you. Okay, and what are these right here? Uh, yeah. These are the these are table mats. Oh, okay. Yes, table mats. So table table mats. Table. This is like a set, a set of them. Oh, okay. Then you put on the These are surprise. table mats with yes. uh, Made a rondin print on them. It's African, African print. African, African yeah. print. Using African print. Okay. Yeah. You have some really nice stuff here. I like these uh, baskets as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to help this young man to get his... Uh, Name Brown to be an international business, then he's looking for people like you that can help him and y'all can work together. Okay, this is nice too. What is like forks and spoons in here? Okay. Kitchen utensils. Okay, so kitchen utensils. This is really nice. How much something like this cost? This one? Yes. Around 50,000. Fifty thousand. Yes. So a basket like this is fifty dollars, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad at all. Yeah. And it's made of wood. Yes. And it's handmade. And it's made right here in Africa. Like I said, you'll support. Yeah, it's handmade. Oh, every he says everything here is handmade. So now, like I said, not only are you helping him, but you're also helping the community. Yes, sure. And also, these paintings are nice. So all of these ones, I uh -huh. mean, it's like it's embolded. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's embolded. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So using right. the hands, uh -huh. so what you have to do, you have to draw the the giraffe and then you yes. mold yeah. the. Oh, okay. The hands. Mm -hmm. You go it uh -huh. takes a lot of time to. to yeah, I was just going to ask you, how long does it take to make something like this on the giraffe? This one, when you are committed, you can spend like uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah, you have to really be committed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got lions and zebras over here. They're not paintings. If, if I open, you can see, you can no. touch them. Oh, no, no. It's yeah. no I, I, yeah. yeah, I don't want to yeah. mess anything else. So <laughs> I take your word on it, but yeah. these, these are not paintings, he said. You know, these are all handmade materials. So they're also here. Yeah. Okay. You have an African mask here. Yeah? Oh, African mask. I have something like this on my wall at home. This one is is most uh, popular in West Africa. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's where I got it from. Yeah, I got it from uh, Togo. Yeah, yeah. Togo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they are the ones who has this health tree. Yes. Have a strong tree. Uh huh. So these ones are from are from London. Okay. These are our local uh, material. Uh huh. You see. That it's, it's like it's like we, back in back in twenty years ago, uh -huh. we used it as as as, as a plate. The plate. Okay. Yes, we we eat from this. Stuff. Okay, so yeah. it's almost in like a almost like a bowl type. Yes. Thing? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. And it's, it has like uh, thirty years old. Okay. So, thirty years. Wow. Yeah. It's old. You see. Yeah, old. And I see these all over the place <laughs> here, and I see, I see these all over the place here in Rwanda. What are what are these little baskets? Agaseki. We, call, Agaseki. we call it Agaseki. Oh, it's called Agaseki. 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 Yes. Okay, because I see a lot and of the uh, ladies it, put that it, on it their has, head. It has a different meaning. Uh -huh. And uh, so normally what it means, it means savings. Okay. Mm. Right? Uh -huh. So that's how I can explain it uh -huh. for myself. Uh -huh. It means savings. So whoever okay. has this kind of, because back in the years, we, used, yes. we, we didn't have this kind of bags, right? Uh -huh. So when you have pens or some money, just put it here. Oh, okay. It away. Yeah. okay. Yes. All right. It's one of yeah. our, our so that's like your, what in the States they would call something like a, a bank, a piggy bank or something a like that, where, bank, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you put your... <laughs> 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 I'm just saying this so that you yeah. know, people back in the States know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Or, you know, so. These are also the, the old... Are these like placemats too, or are these are just can use to put on the wall? Or or on the yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You can hang them on the wall as well. Okay. Yes. Those are nice. Hats, jewelry, everything. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I think, you know, you're missing a good opportunity if you don't purchase some of these items. What's that, like a water jug or this one in, in your hand? Oh, it's for milk. Oh, okay. And this is also old, very old. Oh, okay. You can even see. You can see. Even the photo can tell. Uh-huh. All right. So this is like a milk jug. Milk jug. Okay. Yeah. Milk oh, jug. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. We took it back from the village. Oh, village. okay. Yeah. Most of them got from the the owner of this place. Uh -huh. I think she got it from from in the, from where she she born from in the uh -huh. village uh -huh. as a souvenir of, of of her grandparents. Oh, okay. Yeah. So once again. Uh, Brothers and sisters, you have some really nice stuff here. Uh, a lot of uh, items of various types. And like I said, this young man is looking for investors to help him invest so that he can go international and you can be a part of it. Just give him a call, talk to him, and see what kind of deal the two of you can work out. I don't have anything to do with it. It would be between, completely between you two. I don't get anything you know, for doing this. Just trying to help out. A local businessman, a young local businessman, and I'm tongue tied, a young uh, local businessman, and he's just looking for a little help because he wants to go international. So, do you have any last? Oh, I'm sorry, what is this? So, this, this uh, is like a bottle uh -huh. that we are used for putting some fermentation beer. Oh, okay, you put yes. your beer, local beer in here. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, and then you. You put a pie inside, uh -huh. like a, a wood pie. Uh -huh. and then you can drink from this. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can also you can also use it as a, as a decoration. decoration. Yes. Yeah. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Traditional local. Because most most beer of jugs we huh? learn from our history. Yes. So we want to throw out our. Yes. Our you want to sisters material. Yes. Show your traditional things that people used to use a few years ago. All right. So one last time, would you like to give your, wait, let me stand over here. Would you like to give your name and email again? Uh, my name is Alex Nyansaba. The contact number is plus two five zero seven eight three six seven six three five four. And your website? My website is www.baholdings.com. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.